I have loved the Ender 3 S1. This thing has been a boss and it is by far the easiest 3D printer to set up of all my 3D printers and for sure of all the Enders. But I came home the other day, you know, I usually have these printing while I'm gone to this. This is one of the biggest balls and messes I've ever seen. And because of how this hot end is, it's very difficult to get in here. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually uh, wires and stuff stuck in there. And I actually pulled some out on accident because it was just so hard. I got the heat gun out and everything. So this little Sprite extruder, in my opinion, is toast. I don't see any way to save this. And I tried for a little bit, got the heat gun out, heated up the hot end, nothing worked. And I was kind of, it looked like I was damaging some of these pieces. So I got on Amazon and I purchased this hot end right here. And it came, 48 hours later I have this. And it's not just as good as this one, it's better. It has an all metal hot end. So there's no PTFE tube in this one as far as I know. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open it up and see how fast we can install it on this machine. Okay, so what I'm noticing right off the bat is it does not have the BL touch on there. So we're going to take the BL touch off of this one. Other than that, it looks the same. There's no visible difference. So I'm just going to assume that the all metal hot end is, and that the all metal hot end should be in here. And I don't see, well, I wouldn't be able to see it now, but they say it's in there, so we'll trust them on it. Please insert into the adapter plate before using. We're good there. Mine actually, it came with screws, but because I have screws from the previous build, I'm gonna use those. The ribbon goes up top and you just place it right in there, like that. Now don't, don't leave it dangling here. I'm gonna come over around there on the side and... So pull these out. Just gonna put this in here like so and pinch those in. Let's get this underneath there and let's turn it on. Okay, temperature to 215. And then come up here and I'm gonna cut this off at an angle right here. And then once this gets close, I'll take it down here. Okay, so we're having a little bit of an error. It's saying that the nozzle temp is too low. The nozzle temp is going up, it's at the right temp, and then it's dropping and it's not, and it's not uh, stabilizing. So there's some sort of an error. We'll see how fast it, we can get it resolved. So this was the problem area, is getting this little red cord, this little red cable that's attached to the hot end, firmly fastened into its um, port there. You'll hear it click when it finally gets into place. So it kind of stinks that I had to buy a new Sprite extruder and it wasn't cheap, but I like that I have an all metal hot end now and I can print, in theory, print things that are high temp. All in all, it cost us about half an hour to an hour of trying to figure out that cable problem. But other than that, everything was simple plug and play. And if I would have just clicked that in place at the beginning, it would have been plug and play right off the bat. So I'm MJ, thanks for watching and keep on learning.